Hello, people, it's Potent. We're back in JPOG. And when we left off, we noticed that a bunch of people were circling. Seems like some of them still do, but for the most part, they're sort of dispersed a little bit more. No matter what, it doesn't do very much good for the uh, morale of the people, because the longer they're in the park, the more they circle, and that's not a very good thing. So I'm not sure quite how to fix it, apart from, like, putting these roads like this, like I have been, but that's sort of a, a strange thing to have to try to do. What are, they, what are they? Those people were, like, dancing or something, it looked like. But, okay, those are normal. I, I put these little things here to try to get them to go across, but maybe that's the big issue, why they're going in circles. I'm not too sure. But as we can see, uh, it looks like they have now dispersed quite a bit. I don't see any groups of people circling around and around and around. Um, so it's all good. It's all fixed. We are at two stars, and we got some six dinos here, so let's take care of them. We might actually have... He's got Bumblefoot. We might have the vaccines for that, and I do. Oops, let's, uh... Immunize Bumblefoot. Hey, 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 hey. Stop with that jitteriness. That jitteriness is what's killing us here. I guess everybody has that. So I thought that I had fixed that last time, but I guess um, I'm forgetting something here or something. I, I'm forgetting something here or something. That's what I just said. Species. Make sure these sick dinos are not sick anymore. They're doing the jittery walking again, and I gotta tell you, like, what I did is a bunch of backing up and stuff, because... I was playing like JPOG from a completely this. different computer. I've now transferred it back. This is way out Research of my league. What's yeah, your advice? Yeah. All right. I thought you might want to know this. Blah. Let's How go to the dig site. Let's extract these. Uh -huh. Anyway, I was um, backing up from my other computer at my fiance's house. And what happened is the save files, I, they weren't transferring over. No matter what I tried, they weren't transferring over. Um, it turns out that I finally figured it out is that Jurassic Park Operation Genesis has two, two different save file locations for some reason. And I don't know why that is, but it's just for some reason they do. And maybe it's because of Windows 10 or something. But whatever the case may be, I had to find that. I did transfer it all over, but in doing so, I'm now using, like, my older version of the game. So I think that's why guys like this are jittery all around. And, you know, I, I'll try to fix that again with a different version. I thought you might like and go from there. I think we had decided that the reason that they were doing the jitteriness... Um, had to do with like their walking speed or like the the shakiness it makes when they walk. Like it should like shake the ground when you're looking at them close. So, like, it jitters and then it shakes the screen like crazy. So the solution would be, of course, to uh, disable the shakiness when they walk or try to fix the fact that they're jittering like that. One of the two, but the jittering is, of course. <laughs> really ridiculous glitch that we've we've just got to fix somehow. So I'm gonna work on that um, in the coming days. What? Oh, I, I thought I clicked on the right one, but I didn't. Okay, boss. Okay, there we go. Torosaurus. I I thought that the message had said Torosaur, but I didn't really ignore. I I did ignore that. So. My bad. Um, oops, not. I don't want to go to that. What Let's uh, like us to do? go to this one. Absolutely. And extract and extract. Now, our goal before we left off last time. <laughs> that's a weird sentence. Before we left off last time was to make a brachiosaur. Or at least that was my goal. I don't know if I said that 
out loud, but it was what I was thinking. So we've got the Taurosaurus here, we've got Kreethosaurus there, we've got Parasaurolophus, we've got the T-Rex, and Acros, and Styracosaurs. I think I want to do the Brachiosaurus kind of right up here. Um, because that that will be a five-star attraction, and again, I want to have my my best attractions as close as we can, sort of to the gate. So what I'm gonna do, sort of start it right here. Go out, go out. Okay. So this is a fairly decently sized enclosure, probably not the greatest for brachiosaurs. But it will do, and we can actually put in a herbivore feeder there, even though I don't know that they make use of it. I think they eat from the trees, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure about that. That was something that, you know, no matter how many times I've suggested that, there are people who think, yes, that's true, and then people who are like, no, you need a feeder in order for them to feed. And uh, I would like to think that you need a feeder, that it is a requirement, and that is why... I just put one in. Uh, but it could be true that if you put in paleo trees or something, that the game will enable them to eat off of the paleo trees. But, uh, again, I'm not sure about that, so you know what? I'm not going to risk them starving to death or being miserable. Let's put in it's this. Good to and see let's see if we can make now a Brachios or Brachiosaurus. No. <laughs> so it's 55%. Why isn't it Brachiosaur? It should be. I thought you might like some input here. Uh, okay, research teams are waiting. Your demand, command. I'm gonna go okay. hatchery immunization. Okay. And Allosaur is now at 100%. So we could get 100% Allosaur in what the would park you like to also. Do we got Brachiosaur remains. No problem. Track. Made popular, of course, by the very first Jurassic Park movie. When I was growing up, when I was a kid, Brachiosaurs were... People knew about them, you know? But it was always like we knew about Brontosaurs, Apatosaurs. Um, and then we knew about things like Diplodocus. And then there was always like... Bra Brachiosaur was like the fourth one that you learn about. Like, it was never very popular um, but then when Jurassic Park came out later on all of a sudden nobody heard about Apatosaur or, or Brontosaur anymore it was always Brachiosaur 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 like everybody wanted to know about Brachiosaurs so that's the kind of impact that Jurassic Park had uh -huh. on like dinosaurs and people's affinity for them just like, it's sort of weird to think, but I remember when I was a kid, like, nobody would ever talk about raptors either. Like, raptors, Deinonychus, Uteraptor, Velociraptor, whatever, nobody would talk about them either. Like, they were just almost unheard of. But then when Jurassic Park came out, everybody, everybody heard of them, and everybody wanted to know more. And it was just like one of those things where Jurassic Park made it what it is today, why it's so popular. And I'm sure there are other instances of that too, like what Spinosaur, you, you know, is another good, really amazing example. Um, this game what is based off here? of Jurassic Park 3, and Spinosaurs were almost like unheard of, nobody cared until Jurassic Park came out. Jurassic Park 3 came out, and then that's when suddenly you had so many people growing up saying, oh, my favorite dinosaur is Spinosaur. So, you know, that's the kind of thing that they tried to introduce, I think, with... Um, in Jurassic World, they didn't really do too much, except that there were some kind of mos Mosasaur. I'm not sure what kind of Mosasaur it was. Maybe a Tylosaur. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it was. It could have been just like a Mosasaurus. But... I don't know if it had the same... Uh, uh, effect? Just like they did have uh, Dimorphodons. 
but nobody really cared. <laughs> like, Jurassic World failed to do so much that the original Jurassic Parks did in, like, promoting people people's love for dinosaurs, I feel. It created um, a hybrid, the Indominus, and that people loved, but, you know, that doesn't bring love for normal dinosaurs. I don't know. Just my opinion. I could be wrong. Don't walk this way, lady. Don't. Keep walking. I forgot. Don't build more paths than we need. There we go. There, I broke the path behind her, but she still gets annoyed. Um, Alright, so let's see. Do we have any more fossils? Fossil market. Let's buy Brachiosaur. Excellent. Brachiosaur. And then, like, one of these. Which Good is probably choice. Gonna be Brachiosaur also. Oops. This is interesting. This is interesting. No, it's not. Nobody cares hey. about you. Good choice. Okay, so extract those. I want to get it up to 100%. But, like, back on that topic, like, when the first Jurassic Park came out, everybody started thinking about T-Rex and Brachiosaurs and, of course, Velociraptors, even though they showed the wrong kind of raptor as a Velociraptor. That's what people started to love. And when number two came out, you know, not a whole lot changed, I admit. There was nothing much new. Um, but people knew that T-Rex was still the star of the show. Everybody loved the T-Rex. And, you know, I think that generally people, people knew that there were other dinosaurs out there that they weren't aware of before. When Jurassic Park 3 came out, then everybody started loving Spinosaur. Everybody loved Spinosaur. Um, what would you like us to do? Even though they did show others like Ceratosaurus and the yes. Pterosaurs. Didn't matter. Everybody loved the Spinosaur. Um, when Jurassic World came out, I don't know that people are like, oh yeah, Dimorphodons, yay! Or, or the pterosaurs that they showed, or the, you know, the different raptors again. Um, I don't know, like, well, I'm, like I, I guess I'm not from that generation now, so I don't know if people are like, super like into raptors again or something, but I don't know if it had the same effect. Okay, Brachiosaur is at almost 80%. I thought you might like some input here. I'm almost wondering if... Like, if we go back to the fossil market... Welcome. These have got to be Brachiosaurs, because they wouldn't give me amber for things that we already have, unless I already have all of them. That's my theory. So... Good that should be Brachiosaur okay. here. So that's motoring along quite fast, actually. Uh, it's at 79%. This will put it up to what? What is it at what now? 83%. Alright. And then so this one will probably push it to like 90, because it's only a low. Maybe 80, low, high 80s. Uh, this one's high. Uh, quality, so it'll probably push it to 100%. If, if it is Brachiosaur. There's a very extremely high chance that it is. So, here's to hoping. What would you recommend in this situation? Oh, it was Kentrosaur, the first one. Oh, really? Oh, really? What would you like us to do? And meanwhile, we found more Kentrosaur and nothing at the other dig site. So, that's not very good. Where are we at? We're over here. And this is kind of how I have it right now. This is exhausted. This is exhausted. This one's poor. So I'm actually going to go and grab it like that. Put the two of them on there so that it, the poor status goes up to exhausted also. Situation? Um, but right now we're just finding the same like Kentrosaur, Kentrosaur, Kentrosaur. I don't want to find Kentrosaur. Don't give me Kentrosaur. Things are good. Why were those two Kentrosaur? I don't want Kedrosaur. There's Welcome nothing in the back. market. We just gotta... Come on. Find something. Teams 2 out of 2. Period Jurassic. Is that the... That's the period we want to be in for Brachiosaur. 
But like, okay. So did it find Would anything? Would it be possible it to found? meet with you at some point? Brachiosaur remains. Yes. And it's a medium yes. quality. This might be it. Might get us past ninety percent anyway. And if it's past ninety percent, I'll tell you right now. We're gonna go ahead and make it in the park because I want one today. This guy, they're not finding this guy. If they look through this binocular, they're not gonna find much. They can see the T Rex from here, so that ought to make them a little bit happy. Yeah, you can see that they're a little bit happy leaving there. And if they're a little bit happy and they somehow manage to hit the T Rex again, they should be all the way happy, right? It's my theory. Like if Daniela here, who is a little happy face, if she were to go into there, maybe she'd be all the way happy. And we could go up to more than two stars, please. What should we do here? Okay, Brachiosaur's at 92. So like I said, we're going to make one now. Let's make a couple of them. At 92, they live for two years. That's a, that's a while. That's a good amount of time. How much does this guy live for? Uh... One whole year, and he is a year old. So this T-Rex, poor thing, is going to die soon. Um, but that's all right. We can always go ahead and make a new one in the park. I'm sure that other things are also, like, preparing to die. It's been a while since I made, or that I replaced any dinosaurs. Great to see you again. Boy, this is taking a long time. Okay, and they found Kentrosaur again. And blah 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 blah. blah. And okay, here we, we go. A special announcement. A new five star attraction is now on display. Yep. Brachiosaurus, the gigantic giraffe. Don't run away crying. We got a new Brachiosaur. In the park. Nature lovers must see this magnificent dinosaur, which embodies the might and majesty of the Mesozoic world. Yay. So, the one thing that I like about Jurassic World, the game app that I've been also playing on the channel. If you haven't seen that, where have you been? But the thing I like about that is that the variety of dinosaurs goes way beyond the, the actual movies. Like the movies, for the most part, do show plenty of the dinosaurs that you see in this game. Everything from Pachycephalosaurs to the Brachiosaurs to like all of them. It shows them all for the most part. But Jurassic World, the game, shows just so many more that weren't even in the game or into the movie. I mean, that is your ghost. What? <laughs> that is your ghost. They look so beautiful. They're so humongous, though. Like, it's just kind of crazy. They're one of the only creatures that can't be killed by the T-Rex in this game. Uh, it's just physically impossible. I don't think they can get killed by any predatory creature. They will actually terrify the T-Rex into running away. So, what would you like us to okay, do? tend to guru beds, tend to guru beds. Immunization project is done. Let's go ahead and get the uh, growth ah. booster in the hatchery. No. No. Nah. Visitor shelter might be a good idea. Okay. Considering uh, we do get tornadoes, they are very, very, very rare. But I did see them before. We do get tornadoes, so. Maybe I should have a visitor shelter in here so that we don't completely lose all of our progress with our two stars here um, so we're gonna get a visitor shelter in but here we go people yep they're all kind of happy around the five star brachiosaurs and the brachiosaurs themselves are beaming from ear to ear everybody still wants food but too bad um, but this is good this is good the more five star attractions we can get the better yeah look at they get happy when they see the t-rex and they get even happier when they see the Brachiosaurus. So this is all good. We should expect probably another half star soon. But this is where I'm going to end the episode. So like this video. Comment below. Do all those other awesome things people do. Aww, that's so cute. Do all the other awesome things people do. And we'll see you next time in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Bye-bye.